Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Question comes from Manchester. The rule of a man praying in jeans slash trousers. First and foremost is the best thing to do, which is mentioned by the people of knowledge, is to cover yourself, even if the pants are covering you sufficiently. The pants aren't tight, they're not hugging, they're not fitting, but the ulama have explained of the past, it's best to wear an izar. It's best to wear a thob or kameez over your pants. That's the best thing to do. Is it haram to pray in pants? Not necessarily. Is it permissible as long as they're not tight? That's not the discussion, but it's always best to cover up. So, in a masjid, they have izars or thobes on the hook. Or you, you have an izar with you. Or a fold-up thing, something in your pocket. In your book bag at school. If you can't wear a thobe or you don't wear a thobe. Wearing a thobe is not obligatory. No one with any sense says that you have to wear a thobe. It's wajib, fard to wear a thobe. It's not obligatory. You can wear pants. Okay. Everyone understand this? I don't wear them, but it's permissible. It's permissible to wear pants outside without, you know, without a thobe. What's important is that's the best thing to do. As far as if you don't have an izar and you don't have a thobe, as long as the pants are loose, as long as your shirt covers what it's supposed to cover, and no Muslim man in his right mind is to wear tight clothes outside. You have on long johns, pajamas, underpants. That's one thing to keep you warm in the winter. Nah, the modern day long johns that are tight. Not like the old ones. The old ones were what? A little loose. But they have the new, you know, underarm and all of that stuff. That's one thing. Or if a man wanted to wear tight stuff for his zoge, that's what? That's one thing. That's one thing. But we're not talking about a man, a grown man, going outside wearing snug or tight clothes. That's just ill-advised. That's what? That's ill-advised, period. So there should never be a time in which you can't pray. There should never be a time in which you can't do the, the necessary lifeblood of your existence, which is salah. That's the lifeblood of Islam, is prayer. So you're in a time or a place or wearing something in which you cannot pray. Something is seriously wrong with what you're wearing. No matter where I'm at, what I'm doing, I can pray immediately. Oh, wait, I got to change. I got to go here. I got to do this. Something is wrong. And this is what the ulama of Islam say about the harms of not wearing hijab. Is that not wearing hijab leads to people not praying. Because what's the chances of the sister putting on a khimar, taking off the lipstick, the makeup, the high heel shoes, the tight clothes, and putting on a, a long, loose dress and praying and taking it back off at school or at work? What's the chances of that? Slim to none. And the same applies to brothers who are bodybuilders, muscle guys who wear really tight, snug shirts, really tight pants, tight, skinny jeans. What is going on? I need for a Muslim to dress like that. I'm confused. Well, I don't understand. Tight shirt or what? Tight pants. So the pants or the shirt should never be that tight in which you cannot fulfill the purpose of your existence. And that is ibadah. And the greatest physical act of ibadah is what? It's prayer. Let alone what happens if you get into a fight? <laughs> or you got to run? <laughs> what if you have to lift up your leg or jump over a gate or something? You... <laughs> I just don't understand the, the, the concept, the aqidah of skinny pants and the tight shirts. I just don't understand it. And Allah Azza wa Jalla knows best.